Why? Because Asian Heritage Month started from the Senate of Canada in 19 years ago by Senator Vivian Poy. And we have an Asian Heritage Month that every year it was well promoted and I have the honour every year on the 1st or 2nd of May I have the honour of uh, announcing the uh, Asian Heritage Month in the Senate of Canada. Why we celebrate Asian Heritage Month? Because Asian Heritage Month is the time where we want to be recognised Asian coming from all over the world make Canada great just like President Joel Du that are here he's an educator he educate the future of Canada he educate the young people make them into a better person in terms we have a better future the young people the volunteers Volunteerism is very important and this is where the fundamental of growing up and that is also why make Canada such a great country. And another thing I want to share with you was I have been uh, telling everybody 1923 June 23rd that is the day where the Chinese Exclusion Act, or you call it Chinese Immigration Act, that was launched in the Senate of Canada. And that was the time when the, China, the Chinese has been helping out so much in Canada, but we were stopped of coming into Canada. Stopped of getting into Canada. And we are the only nationality, we are the only nationality, the Chinese, that are not allowed to come into Canada unless you pay a head tax of $50, eventually go up to 500 And the head tax that you pay, in total, at that time, was over 23 million, 100 years ago. So can you imagine how much is 23 million, 100 years ago, how much we cook today that uh, we have? You know, the Chinese before us have paid to Canada on head tax. The problem is not the money. The problem is human right and family. The Chinese were separated from their family. You know, some of them, the father never seen the children for many years not until 1947. 